Have you ever missed out on a really important notification on your iPhone? Well, that can happen and it happens a lot because when you get a notification, it will be displayed right there at the top as a banner for a couple of seconds and then it's gone. So you will have to go actually to the notification center to find that notification. But what you can do to prevent that is simply go to your settings and go to notifications and here we'll have your apps. You go to an app that's important to you, of course, you don't wanna do this for all the apps. And what you can do is go under banner style and choose persistent. Then when you get a notification, from that app, it will actually make the banner stick here and it will stay there until you dismiss it. So this is one of the 15 hidden features that you can enable on your iPhone using hidden settings that you probably never noticed before. So in this video, I will show you guys these which are actually pretty cool and very, very important. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, like most of you guys haven't, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel because it really helps out a lot. And let's move on to the second one, which has to do with Face ID. So go to your settings and go under accessibility and then you will have Face ID and attention. Now, what you can do here is enable the switch. What it does, it will add a haptic feedback to your phone when you unlock or make a purchase or do anything that has to do with Face ID. So every time Face ID recognizes your face, it will give you a haptic feedback on your iPhone so you know that it has worked. And of course, you know that your iPhone is using your Face ID. We're still here under accessibility and we have something really cool here. So go under touch, scroll all the way down and we have call all your routing here. Now here you can choose where you get your calls on your Bluetooth headset or on the speaker. And if you go here, then you will have a feature which you can enable and it's called auto answer call. So if you enable this, then you can go ahead and enable this option to actually automatically answer your calls. So you get a call after how many seconds you set here, maybe six or 10 or whatever you want, the call will be automatically answered. And that's really, really cool. Again, you can enable it by going here under call all your routing under the touch settings on accessibility. Now here's something you probably have never noticed before. Go under the app store settings, scroll all the way down and it says here personalized recommendations. Go ahead and tap right there. And what you can do here is actually clear app usage data. So basically based on what you search on the app store and what apps you download, App Store will show you and recommend you different games or apps. So if you think that it's actually just recommending games or apps that you don't like and you want it to actually have a fresh start, you can go ahead and clear everything here and it will basically start learning from the beginning. There are some pretty cool hidden features for the mail app, which you can actually enable from the settings that actually make the mail app way better and much easier to use. And one of them is swipe options. So go to the mail settings and go under swipe options right here. So you know on the mail list you can swipe left or right and you will get a few different options. So if you go here, then you can choose what you want to do when you swipe like all the way. So it has basically two different things you can swipe and it shows you three options or you can just swipe all the way to perform one action. In this case, I have swipe left to flag an email and then mark as red if I swipe from the right. So you can go ahead and choose what you want to do. So maybe none if you want to disable it or archive it or move the message or of course mark it as red. So you can go ahead and choose any of these options and implement them to the swipe gestures. Under the mail settings, you will also find signatures. Now what you can do here is have different signatures for different mails. So if you have different emails there set up on the app, you can choose this here per account and it will show you the list of emails that you have there. And you can of course go ahead and add different signatures for different emails. Or if you just wanna have the same one for all of your emails, you go ahead and tap there and then you will be able to actually just choose one there and it will be the same for all of them, but this is way better. You can customize of course your signature based on what you use that email for. Now another one right here under the mail settings, it is called default account. So if you go here, you can choose which is your default email. Now what you do by, by this is actually that is used as a default one. When you wanna share something, you tap on email, that email will be sent from the default email that you choose on the setting. So either you have 
one or two here of course you can go ahead and choose which one you want to use as a default one and then all the emails that you send by default will go from that one here's a really cool one that you can enable from the map settings so when you go to a place here on the maps you can see we have the weather there and if i tap on it it will show here more details but it also shows me the air quality index right there and it shows it right there on the smaller one as well now by default this will be turned off you can go ahead and turn it on simply by going into settings and go into maps and you will have here weather conditions which is actually enabled by default but air quality index is disabled and you can have it enabled from here you probably know that your iphone has an app called measure which allows you to measure things now when you go there it is everything will be imperial so if you're somewhere maybe in europe or anywhere else where you want to use metric you can go ahead and go to settings you will find measure right here and just go ahead and switch to metric so these are basically the only two options that you will see on the settings for metric imperial or metric you can go ahead and change it from here apple has done a great job when they added the feature that allows us to set settings per app so you go right here under accessibility and then you will find per app settings now what you can do here is also have home screen now it also shows home screen as an app here so when you go to add an app here the first one will be home screen now what you can do here is actually enable a new animation for the home screen which is really cool so you can notice this one when i open and close apps here's a new one you can enable here go ahead and go to reduce motion right here and just turn it on now this is good because it will turn it on only for the home screen not for the apps and then we get that new animation that like fading animation that you get here which is actually really really cool and you'll get also there a haptic feedback which is really awesome i really love this one way better than the older one and it's actually way faster and if you have an older device it will probably be much much better using this one than the current default animation that we get on ios 16. next up we're moving to the photo settings so head on to photo scroll all the way down here to seller data now if you go here of course you can enable seller data for photos but you will also get this option right here which is called unlimited updates and if you have a data plan that's not limited then you can go ahead and easily enable this option here and it allows you to transfer the photos to iCloud even though you're not connected to Wi-Fi you're using seller you can do that from here moving on to safari head on to safari go under downloads and here we'll have remove download list items so right here what you can do is choose how to remove the download list once you have downloaded something you can go ahead and choose this up and successful download or after one day so the list of downloads will stay there for a day and then it's gone automatically really important one here under messages so when you go to messages scroll all the way down and you will have an option to send as sms now what this will do is that when iMessage is not available it will actually send it as an sms of course there is charges to this so here it says carriers carrier messaging rates may apply so of course that will probably apply based on your plan or whatever you have there but again when iMessage is not available you can still send it as an sms and here we have another one under iMessage so what we have here is expire for audio messages so you can choose how fast audio messages will expire now by default it will be two minutes so after two minutes the audio message is gone you can choose never here if you want to have it persistent there and of course listen to it anytime you want and last but not least we're going to the general settings here and we're going to reset now by reset what you can do is of course reset your iphone settings and all that but you can also do something really interesting with a keyboard so you know that you have predictive text on your keyboard and it will learn by time how you type and what you type the words you use more frequently and of course display them there on the predictive field but if you feel like that's not actually quite accurate or you just want to have a fresh start what you can do is tap on reset here and you can reset the keyboard dictionary it will reset the keyboard to basically as it was new and the keyboard will again start learning from the beginning so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found these features useful if you did please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one